Welcome to the first part of this video series on shortwave radio listening for beginners. In this video I talk about the very basics of shortwave radio listening. In my upcoming videos I will dig deeper into details in this topic, but now, let's start at the beginning. You are driving your car and listening to your favorite radio station. You are probably listening to an FM radio. The number displayed on your radio, in this example 105, is your frequency. The frequency is displayed in megahertz. If you take a look on the whole radio spectrum, FM frequencies are located between 88 and 108 megahertz. Shortwave frequencies are located a bit lower on the spectrum, between 3 and 30 megahertz. But what makes the difference? Unlike FM radio waves, covering about maximum 50 to 100 kilometers of distance, short waves can travel thousands of kilometers around the globe, by bouncing between the ground and the atmosphere without any infrastructure like satellites or cables. This enables broadcasters worldwide to access listeners, like you, anywhere they are, with a very simple shortwave receiver. A very important aspect in my opinion, the shortwave radio opens for you a whole new universe that you can explore, which makes shortwave radio listening a great adventure and a great hobby. And now let's see, what can you listen to on the shortwaves? First of all, there are the traditional radio stations or broadcast channels. These stations will broadcast music, news and discussions on political or religious topics, just like your favorite FM radios. If you are lucky, you may receive some pirate stations as well. Unlike FM radio stations, shortwave frequencies are not assigned fixed to single radio stations, shortwave programs are scheduled. It means, that radio stations share frequencies with each other by splitting them up to time slots. In this example you can see, that China Radio International is sharing the frequency 9600 kHz, which equals 9,6 MHz, with Radio Romania, Voice of America and other stations as well, while broadcasting itself also in other frequencies in different time slots. To know, what is on air, you will need a schedule. Schedules are available online, for example on shortwave.info. And, of course, there are the radio amateurs or ham radio operators also on shortwave. Radio amateurs are using the so-called single sideband mode, or SSB. To be able to listen to radio amateurs, you need a receiver which supports SSB mode. More details about the SSB mode in a later video. Radio operators has a unique identifier number, the so-called call sign, in online databases like qrz.com, you can identify, who is currently communicating online. Radio amateurs are sometimes sending data, like Morse code or radio teletype codes. You can also receive and translate this data traffic with an app on your smartphone downloaded from your app store. The most common way, radio amateurs are communicating is CQing or DXing. This kind of communication is about making as many connections in a few hours as possible. When a connection is made between two operators, they will shortly exchange some information with each other, for example they will provide each other a so-called signal report about the quality of reception. When there is a contest, all operators online are trying to make the most possible connections in 24 or 48 hours. For you. Listener, the most interesting are the chat rooms. A chat room is a frequency, where more radio amateurs gather together to discuss different topics, just for fun. You can join these chat rooms as a listener just by navigating to the frequency. You also can listen to the so-called utility stations. As described in wikipedia.org, a utility stations are not intended for reception by the general public, and they broadcast signals that have an immediate practical use, like weather stations, time stations or military stations. 
You can also use these frequencies as bookmarks or reference for testing the quality of your current reception. Last but not least, you can also listen to number stations. However, they are not easy to find, number stations exist, and you can also receive them by using the schedule on prime.org. These stations are believed to be addressed to intelligence officers operating in foreign countries. Next time I will cover some very basic theory about shortwave radio listening. See you next time, comment below and thanks for watching.